Hi, it's video tutorial number 21, mouse drawing with the LCD. Um, it was a very exciting tutorial last time around. Um, we were making different colors on our LCD um, by stringing them along, by prepending them. So a little of the vernacular we like to use in Max. Believe me, it'll get you noticed. Um, and uh, I thought, well, that's great, but this object here uh, is not really an object, but this method of um, making making rectangles I'm not too thrilled with. Wouldn't it be a lot easier to uh, simply have a way to do it and then have the mouse follow it around and make one whenever you wanted to? So with that in mind, I'm going to unlock this patch and we're going to make something follow the mouse. So let's go down here in the corner and uh, and take a look at this outlet here. Mouse, X, Y position, location when clicked. In other words, mouse down and it gives you the X, Y position. Mouse idle, X, Y position. And this just tells you if the mouse is down. This is a dump out. I have no idea what it's for. Um, okay, so all we have to do is know that two numbers are going to be coming out of here and we can just get started. Type the letter N and type unpack zero zero. Okay, simple enough. And what we're going to want to do is whenever numbers are coming out of here, we're going to want to subtract a certain size from them. So um, let's get some number boxes just so we can see what happens. Here's one, and here's another. And now if you notice when I click up here, whoops, locking my patcher, as I go to the left side it should get closer to zero, and as I go up it should move towards zero. Now we're really zoomed in so you're not going to see zero anytime soon but take my word for it, okay? The same thing is happening here as I unlock. The same thing's happening here but whenever the mouse is up. We're not, let's build this whole thing and then get this working. So what we want to do is make a shape of a certain size. To do that we'll have to give it first an XY for the top, corner, top left corner then an XY for the bottom right corner. Um, knowing that that'll be, if we want to put the cursor at the center, we're going to subtract some number to get the first X and add some number to get the second X, and then we'll do the same thing with Y twice. So, new object minus, let's just start with 10 as a kind of a given, and then we'll make another new object and say plus 10. and move them here, copy them, duplicate them, and connect them. But remember this time with unpack we we have to enter, you know, it's going to send one out this side and one out this side. These numbers are just going to come out this side. So here's one getting subtracted from x and now we need one going positive from x and it's right here. 1 being subtracted from y, meaning 10 being subtracted from y, and now another one being added to y. Now we have to cross them over because we need we need x, y, x, y. Okay? So I'm going to move these up a little bit just so I can have some space down here. Then I'm going to move all these up just so I can have even more space. Then I'm going to move the whole kit and caboodle up so I can have even more space. There we go. At some point, I'll probably encapsulate. Yes, encapsulate. So let's just uh, make a pack object to deal with all this. Pack, and then zero, space, zero, space, zero, space, zero. And line that up down here. Connect them. So just thinking ahead while we're doing this, okay, 
if we can send this up to the top now, this should give us two coordinates. And now I did it wrong. Oh my god. I was trying to so carefully tell you this. It has to be x, then y. This is the y, minus 10. You need your minus 10s together now. And then the plus 10s. Get it now? Plus 10 x plus 10 y x minus 10 y minus 10. So it goes in order x minus 10 y minus 10 x plus 10 y plus 10. Okay, and that will give us a shape that can be described with two groups of two numbers. Okay, and now we're compacting that. So now we know if we send this up to the top we can make a shape, but we also want to differentiate, oh, we want to be able to control the size of this shape eventually, right? So let's say we put a receive object in here while we're at it, a new object, excuse me, uh, no, yeah, yeah, a receive object. We'll, we'll put the send somewhere else. Um, and I'll call it size clicked because the mouse will be down right and then we'll send this in the right hand outlet of the like the minus 10 so now it'll be minus whatever this number is we send it the plus 10 the minus 10 and let off your shift key and we're done okay it's a little tiny bit messy I'll admit but there it is so now we can take this whole thing whoops uh, no we can't Let's copy it and move it over here. Because I think they should have some sort of difference. I mean, imagine if when the um, mouse was down, it made a green rectangle, and when it was up, it made a green rectangle. That wouldn't be very exciting, would it? So we're going to change this to size unclicked, and we'll send a different number for that. And then we'll also have both of these send to a different place. So. Um, and we could also have them send a different color, which would be certainly very interesting as well. I'm running out of space. How could I do it? We'll do it up at the top. OK, let's encapsulate this and get on with it. No, we'll encapsulate this and we'll put the next thing under it. Yes, that's how we'll do it. OK, so we'll encapsulate that. Go on up to the menu and, and click Edit. or I do shift command E, it encapsulates, and I say patcher mouse down shaper shaper. Okay, and I'll encapsulate this one too. Hey. We're gonna have to open them anyway but I just noticed something. Okay, shift, command E, and they're encapsulated, and I'm gonna call this one um, mouse up shaper. Okay, great. Um, lock your patcher and click on this silly thing, and now it's definitely time to zoom out. So there's our patcher inside here that we can now work with. Um, what we really need is just open this sidebar thing. We just need an outlet because it has an inlet but no outlet. And I don't know how I neglected to see that coming. Okay. And then eh, just close it again. And then do the same thing for this one. Open it up and put an outlet. Whoops. I don't know if you saw what happened. 
I forgot to open the sidebar, so I clicked in another Windows sidebar. They don't respond well to that. Okay, so there's our outlet. Great. Now, we will be sending um, this, the data for this will be coming out here, and we could run it through um, any shape that we wanted then that had any color that we wanted or we could do um, a curious thing and put you know my favorite um, tool the um, Bondo <laughs> okay we're sending out four numbers right so let's make a Bondo whoops a new ob come on click in your click in your space unlock your patcher make a new object and call it bondo 8 and what's going to happen is that these are going to take up the first the first four there's four numbers coming out so it'll be one two three four and then these last four we're going to put our lovely swatch uh, let's go up here and um, grab our swatch and bring it down here maybe over here okay and then, uh, what the heck, we'll just move this over here, move this over here. And now things get really fun, which is, well, I'm going to have to move this apart a little bit so we can make it work the way we want to. Remember that Swatch also packs three numbers together, so here's one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one is going to come from Swatch. I'm making a dog leg. I'm not going to that one. Look closely. Is everybody watching? I moved over. And now that'll be one, two, three. And the very last one belongs to Alpha. Okay. And that should. Let's just see if we can make all this into one neat little package here. Yep. And then of course the whole thing will have to be, uh, you know, sometimes it's just easier well, to work on things when they're not right below you like that. Mm, I knew I just want more space. Um, we'll work over here. There we go. Okay. So that's going to be the unclicked one and that should send out a whole series of numbers that will need to be gathered together and then prepended with whatever shape we want to make. So we need to make another object, um, the pack object, pack zero, 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 zero. That was eight zeros. Okay and Connect those together. Fantastic. Now make another new object and say prepend. frame oval. No spaces in there. It'll screw it up if it says spaces. And then we'll um, say is there anything else we want to say about this? Uh, I can't think of anything. Let's put another new object and say 
send and then we're going to say LCD okay I can think of what we might want to put in there um, now nah, let's just leave it the way it is for now um, and then we'll duplicate this whole thing like this well, I'll tell you what first in cap no yes first encapsulate this and this is a pain in the butt shift control a e, and make this patcher up color okay and uh, now option click on it move it over here whoops don't 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 just throw this away let it go delete it we want to get the whole thing at once okay um, so grab the whole thing duplicate it and move it over here I wish I could fit this in here okay we'll, we'll be able to sooner or later okay whoops I connected one wire wrong time to zoom in and look closely for some unknown reason I decided to connect this to the top of the swatch which is not where it goes the patcher mouse down shaper goes right in the top of patcher up color which is to say it was patcher up color until we changed the name to patcher down color okay that's just to make them different right so now we have also to deal with patcher patcher mouse up shaper that seems to be connected correctly there so both of these are going to send something to the LCD when they are um, selected but there is something I dimly recall lock your patcher click this open and there it is up there the patcher send to LCD good oh that's what it was um, both of them are sending frame oval and that doesn't let's make this one frame rectangle just to make it different okay so or even paint rectangle if you want R E C T frame rect and send to L LCD okay good so far and then um, what else am I forgetting okay so up here unlocking our patcher we need a new object that is receive LCD and both of these are outputting to have a send LCD so whatever they send is going to come right through this receive LCD and come out here in the meantime uh, what was the other one? Oh, we have to send sizes to these click open your um, patcher uh, lock your patcher click open your patcher mouse down shaper and you see it says receive sized click uh, click on that and copy it and then put one of them in here there it is receive sized click we actually want to make it send size clicked so and then we don't even have to open up the other one to remember what it was because uh, just copy this one and move it over and you'll remember when I actually do this the other one was called size unclicked so
it is possible that we have this name wrong, but let's just say we don't. And then we'll just put two number boxes on that for the time being and see how that works. Uh, this would be so exciting if it actually works. And I will make a point of stopping the video then instead of trying something else crazy. Okay, let's lock the hole patcher, set two very different colors here. That's green, how about a nice uh, light red, and uh, oh, we didn't send any numbers yet. When it's clicked, we'll make it little, and when it's unclicked, we'll make it quite large. 50 pixels, how's that? And let's just see if we get anything. Well, there's our little one. And you know what? I can't tell if the big one's working or not. It should be. Shoot. That's definitely the red and no green. It's not sending the green. Maybe this um, size unclicked was not correct. So our patcher's locked, which is good actually for doing this. Click on this patcher twice and it opens up. Receive size unclicked. I'm just going to copy it and whoop, come on. Control Command, I mean copy, there we go, close this patcher. Sure, looks like it's the right. Um, it's so hard to guess why. I'm just going to um, unlock my patcher and paste this one here and see if they look similar. Actually, I'm just going to substitute them because you just never know when you make some subtle mistake. So we'll get rid of this one and use this one. There. And let's go down to a smaller number, lock our patcher, and go down to a number that we can... We'll know it's different because it's twice as big, but it's not so big that it'll be off the scale. And we'll make it a... make sure that those numbers are getting through. There's our red. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh! I know, I know what it is. Unlock your patcher, click on your patcher, and go over to your inspector. And scroll down to here. I totally forgot about this. See this? We never checked to see if our, if our LCD was tattling on the idle mouse. And as you can see, report idle mousing, and it is unclicked. That is unforgivable, people. There it is, clicked. Now, let's watch what happens. Oh yeah, so there it is. There's our green, and now we're gonna click red. Green, red. Nice, change colors. Ooh. Let's make it much lighter. Let's make it much bigger. Okay, you can see the mouse now. Ooh, and there's our little pink thing. There's the mouse. There's our pink thing. And let's, uh, Yeah, it's kind of a, an anti-drawing thing. It erases as you go. You let go for just a second, and that's it. Well, that's all for today, people. Uh, that was a lot of fun. So there's a whole different array way of drawing. I would be the first to admit that it's not all that useful but it does sort of teach you how you can use processes to draw in Max and the mouse position and all that. So uh, till the next tutorial, uh, thanks for watching.